In this video, we're going to be using Sonic Pi to code ourselves the children's nursery rhyme Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. It's going to sound something like this. There you go, fairly simple song that most of you should know from your childhood. Okay, so today we're going to need to do two things. First up, we're going to need to open Sonic Pi and start on a blank page. So if there's any text on there, just delete it. So we're starting from square one. And you're also going to need a copy of the notes that are used to make up Twinkle Twinkle. So I just got onto Google and did a quick search and managed to come away with this image here that shows me all the different notes that are played to make up the sound of Twinkle Twinkle. Now if you look closely at these notes, you can see that we double up on each line okay so what I mean by that is this first line here G G D D E E D is repeated in the exact same order down here on line number five and if you know the song each note is played for the same amount of time so it's exactly the same as that first line on the fifth line if you look at line number two C C B B A A G that's repeated again on line number six and again it sounds exactly the same also, lines three and four here are identical to one another. Okay, so we need to take that into account when we're doing our coding. We don't want to have to write any more code than we need to. So what we can do in um, Sonic Pi is create something called functions, where we write one line of code once, and that's it. You don't have to write that again. So if you need to play this line again, which we do down here on line number five, We'll simply call up this bit of code we've already written and it will just automatically play it without us having to write all that code over and over again. Okay, and that's going to make more sense once we get into Sonic Pi and start creating our code and turning those sections of code into functions. Okay, so let's head over to Sonic Pi now and get started. Okay, first thing I'm going to do today is put a comment at the top. So put in a hashtag and I want you to write in twinkle twinkle. That's the name of the song. And remember, hashtags create comments, and comments are not re are readable by the computer. The computer skips straight over them. It's just plain, simple English to explain what's going on in the code. So it's good practice to get using those comments to explain what is happening in your code. All right, so the first thing I want to do today is do this first line of code, get the computer to play each of these notes. Okay, and to play a note in Sonic Pi couldn't be any easier. You simply write the word play, put a space and a colon, and write the note. Okay, so I'm going to do that for the first line. So we've got GG DD, and then we've got the E's, and we finish on another D. Now, if we were to play that right now, it's not going to sound any good. Have a listen. It played all of those notes at the same time. So what we need to do is put a little rest in between each one. Okay, and we do that by using the word sleep. We're going to sleep for 0 0.5, so half a second between each of these. I'm just going to copy that and paste it in between each of those notes. So Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Let's have a listen, we'll see if it sounds any better yet. All right, sounds okay, but a few of those notes are a little bit off. They sound a bit like old MacDonald had a farm then. What we need to do is crank up some of these notes and make them higher pitched, okay? And the Ds and the Es are the two that we need to do that to. Okay, so what we're going to do is just boost them up an octave. Okay, so we're going to change this D here. At the moment it's a D4 note. We're going to change it to a D5 note. Same with the E's, we're going to turn them up an octave, so they're going to become higher pitched. So we'll turn them into an E5, and that D at the end there needs to be a D5 as well. Let's have another listen. Okay, that sounds better. I think it's a little bit slow. So up the top here, just underneath that um, comment, I'm going to write in use underscore BPM, which stands for use beats per minute. I'm going to write 90. So we're using 90 beats per minute now, which will speed things up. All right, 
So that's sounding good. Um, just forgot to put one line at the end here. I've got to sleep it for one second. All right, so don't forget to sleep that last line for one second. All right, that's the first line of code done. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to turn this section of code into what we call a function. Okay, so this section of code, if we want to play it again later in the song, which we do, we don't want to have to write this all in again. Okay, you could copy and paste it in, but that takes up more room in our code that we don't need to. Alrighty, so what we're going to do is we're going to go above the first note there. I'm going to write define. We're going to define a function. After the word define, put a space and then a colon. And I want you to come up with a name for this section of code. It can be any name that you want. Okay, so I might just call it first line. Okay, and after that, we just write the word do. So in this function, which is now called first line, here's what we need to do. We're going to play each of these notes with a little rest in between them. When we get to the end here, we simply write the word end just to say that we're finished. Okay, so this is now a function. If I was to run it, it wouldn't play anything. Okay, to run this function, what we have to do is actually write in the name of it now. So after my code, if I write the word first line, because that's the name of my function, it would play all of this code inside of first line. Let's have a listen. Yeah, you get the idea. So there it goes. All right, so we'll just leave that first line there. That's playing everything in there. Okay, I'm going to go in after the word end, and I'm going to start adding in the second line now. So if you just go back and have a look, we've got the second line, C, C, B, B, A, A, G. All right, so back in Sonic Pi, what we're going to do is we're going to type in all the notes we need to play first of all. So we're going to play C5. Okay, we're going up an octave again for our C's. Play C5. We do that twice and then we go on to our B's. This time they're not up an octave, so I'll play a B. And play a B. Okay, these are B4. You just don't need to write the 4 in on those ones. Um, what do we got next? We've got the A note that we want to play again. Just leave it as it is. It's the A4 note. You don't need to write the 4 in though. And then we've got a G to finish off with. All right, now we need to put sleeps in between each of these. So put in half a second sleep between all of these, except for the last one, which will be a one second sleep. So half a second. Just copy and paste. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Make sure that last one is a one second sleep. All right, let's have a listen. We're just going to be playing this section here first of all. All right, so that's looking good. That is the second line all done. What we're going to do now is turn that second line into its own function as well, just like we did up here for the first one. Okay, so at the top of that second line, we're going to write define, and we'll give it a name, second line. And then we'll put the word do, and you need to tell the computer what to do in this second line function. So that's all of that code. At the bottom, we write end. Okay, so now we've got our second function in. To play that second function, we'll now need to type in the name below first line. We just write in second line. Okay, and that should play one after the other. First line goes first. Second line goes second. Right, that's really nice, it's sounding good. You might have also noticed too, when I write the name of the functions, I'm not putting any space between the words. Okay, You can't have any spaces in the names of functions. You can put underscores in to separate words, or you can do what I'm doing, I'm using camel case. Camel case is where you write one word, and then when you start the, well it's all in lowercase, and when you start the next word, you put a capital to start it, which shows that you're breaking up two words there without using a space. That's camel case. All right, let's put in the final um, section of code that we need, which is the third line. So D, D, C, C, B, B, A. Okay, so this one is play D5 to start with. We're going to do that twice. After D5, we've got C5. 
So these are all up an octave. After C5, we've got a B. Back down to a normal octave now. And to finish off with, we end up on an A, still back in our normal octaves. All right, we need to put in a sleep between each of those. Again, we're going to be doing half a second sleeps until the very last one, which will be a one second sleep. So Control c to copy, Control v to paste, and make that last one a one second sleep. Okay, now we're going to put this into a function as well. So remember, at the top of this one, we just write define space colon, we'll call it third line, and write do. We want to do all of this, and then end it. Okay, so we've now got our third function. To play this third line, we need to come down the bottom here and actually write in third line. This will call up this section of code here inside of third line's function. So let's have a listen to the first, second and third line, one after the other. First line, second line, third line. And that's where it stops. Okay, we need to now play this third line again. Okay, this, this is where the functions come in handy. We don't need to write all of this again. All we need to do down here in our code is simply write third line again. And that will play that third line a second time. Okay, to finish off with, we can put in the first line of code again and the second line of code again. So, in the Sonic Pi, let's just copy first line and second line, paste them in there. So that's how our song works. First line, second line, third line, and it repeats the third line, goes back to the first line of the song, and then goes back to the second line of the song to end it. Let's have a listen at how this goes. So first line. Second line, third line, third line, back to the first, and then back to the second. That's it. We have Twinkle Twinkle all written up nicely. So remember, when, this, when you've got these words here, first line, it knows to go back up to the top and call up this function here called first line and just run all of the code inside of it. Okay, sounds quite good. Now if you want, just one last little trick I'll show you. Down here above this section of code here, you can change the sound if you would like. If you don't like that little ringing sound that we've got, you can put use underscore synth, put a space and then a colon, and you've got a few options here, different sounds you can use to play Twinkle Twinkle with. I don't care which one you use, I'm just going to click on a random, let's go with square, we'll see how that sounds. So it just slightly changes the sound. Okay, that's all I'm going to show you in today's tutorial. That's how you create Twinkle Twinkle using functions. Hit the save button at the top to save that, and you are finished.